The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Ramo Rajamani Sadaab Jete Ramam Ramesham Bhaje Rame Nabhiyata Nishachara Chamu Rama Yatasmai Namaha Rama Nasti Parayanam Parataram Rama Shada Sosmiyaham Rame Chitale Sadaab Hautame Bho Rama Mamudhara Rama Rame Thi Rame Thi Rame Rame Manorame Sahasra Nama Tattulyam Rama Nama Varanane Shri Rama Nama Varanana Unnama Iti Okay, last time we were looking at, I think we finished this shloka back here, which was the Tena Tattreva Vasata Janasthana Nivasini Virupita Shur Parnaka Rakshasi Kamarupini. The last thing we did last time, which was Tena Ramena Tattreva Vasata, as he, while he was living there itself. Janasthana Nivasini Shur Parnaka Virupita. Shurpanaka, who was the Rakshasi living in Janasthan, she was deformed, Kamarupani, and she could change forms at will. We did that last time. So let's continue now with this uh, next shloka, which is, uh, and one more thing, as I said, you can just look at the Anuvada to see how many shlokas you have to take at a time. And here they are going, uh, let's see. They're taking many together, about eight. You see from 47 to 55 are taken together, nine verses. The reason for that might be that some of them might be ending in half, half in the middle. If you look at the look at the first full stop, where the first full stop is coming. And here is the one. And also their followers. So I think here is going to end the um, vacuum up to this. Um, so sardham ekan vayi is it in the tika. Sardham ekan vayi. Means a sloka and a one and a half sloka is going to be connected into one vakyam because ekating uh, ekating vakyam. So we have the uh, nijaghana is down here nijaghana uh, because in the pratham sloka tingantam uh, padam nasti. So you cannot become a vakyam unless you can supply us or bhu or or something like that. But we have the nijaghana and then it ends. Uh, up to here, and then again from here you have the Nihatani Asan. That's the second thing, and that's there will be Dutiyam Vakyam. Katra Arabhyate. So it's the Uttara, Uttara Pade. Just say, so this one. Okay. Tata Shurparnakha Vakya Dubyuktan Sarvarakshasan. Karan Tushirasanchaiva, Tushirasanchaiva, Dushananchaiva Rakshasam. Nijaghana Rane Ramas Teshan Chaiva Padanugan. I said too many times, even if you don't know any Vyakaranam, whatever, just keep on reading. You know, Spashtam Uchaihi, Patanam Bhave Bhavati Chet, Shanaihi Shanaihi, Jnanam Bhave Deva. You will, you will always get all knowledge. If you keep on reading slowly, loudly, clearly. And next step, you can read the Anuvada, try to make some connections, whichever you can, you can do on your own, because you can leave them. And every pass you will get, and you have this Gita press, you have the, of course, the Bhagavad Gita, you have Ramayanam, Bhagavatam, keep on reading, and you, you learn the whole language. Uh, <clears throat> you may not know Pani Sutras, but you learn, pretty much get a very good hang of the language. Okay, one more time, we'll read. Tataha, Shurpanakha Vakyad, Udyuktan Sarvarakshasan, Karanti Shirashan Chaiva, Dushanan Chaiva Rakshasam, Nijakhan Rane Ramas, Tesham Chaiva, Padanugan. Okay. Let's see who wants to do Padacheda for me. Who can do it? Balraman can do it. Balraman, you can try Padacheda, Balraman? Uh, yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you fine. Samyak. Tataha. Tataha, correct. Shurpanaka. Ah, uh, no, try again. That's a choice, correct? That's a choice. Now, why do we have a choice? Because Shurpanaka has the same form, whether it is a um, Takpadam Atva Samasyapi. Because as we know the word Sita, the Prathama Ekvachanam of Sita is Sita only. Because, because of the 6168 So the Shurpanakha will be Shurpanakha, can be in the Samasa, could be outside Samasa also. Okay. We need to mute you maybe one second. You got some background noise. This, uh, maybe you can... Okay, go ahead now. Um, so Shurpanaka could have been put up. Okay. 
uh, but here it is not because of the fact that you know it is shurpanakha vakyat shurpanakha because if you, if you leave shurpanakha sitting alone like that she will become the subject of the sentence uh -huh. i understand uh -huh. and right now we already have the um ramaha nijaghana rama already is pratama down here and nijaghana mm -hmm. so ramaha kid so again shurpanakha be another subject will create a problem mm -hmm. There's nothing grammatically saying it could not be putak padam, but you okay. know, tandar bhaj nyayate it samastam padam asti iti. Okay, so shurpana kha vakhyad, then? Udyuktan. Udyuktan, correct. Sarva rakshasan, or is it samas again? Samas, it has to be, because with sarva will what? He'll become only he sarva. Okay. So that will not that, uh, okay, and then? Karam. Karam, correct. Trishirasan. Tishrasam. Cha. Correct. Eva. Eva. Dushanam. Dushanam. Cha. Eva. Rakshasam. Eva. Rakshasam. Nijagan. Nijaghana. Nijaghana. Uh, Rane. Rane. Ramas. Ramaha. Ramaha. You do Padashyada means Padashyada means you do the, you know, Karavasana Yol Visajaniya. So Ramaha. Uh, okay. Uh, Tesham. Tesham. Cha. Eva. Cha eva. Padanugan. Padanugan. Oh. Correct. So you want to, what is the what is the one thing on the bottom here is this Nijaghana. So you want to, you know what the dhatu might be there by any chance? Uh, no idea this. Okay. What kind of form is it? Which laka which lakara is it? I'll try that. Um. Look at the ending, o ending. O uh -huh. ending. So like it is like uh, Dhritarashtra Vacha, right? Right. Vacha. Uh, this is yes. So it is, you see the Abhyasa Karyam going on a little bit, maybe you can recognize that. You can also recognize the ending A. Uh. An, yeah. So Nijaghana. So this is going to be Lit Lakaraha. Pratana okay. Purusha Eka Vachanam. The Lit in, in Parasne Pade. Because Parasne Padanam Nalatus Us. In Parasne Padam, the, the three endings tip does G become null atus us respectively. So that is a very common form like you know chakara, jaghana, you know, um, dadarsha. So all these o ending forms which have abhyasa in them. If you see that, you can try to make a good guess. It's going to be a third person singular lit form in parasipati. So um, okay, now what could the dhatu be? So if you knew, you knew a, some abhyasa rules you could try to get a you know what you can do is you can look at down in here in translation it says killed killed okay. what dhatu what will it be now <laughs> past tense now what is the dhatu um, it, it, nijag or nijag. so it should be the knee is upasarga ni uh -huh. the dhatu will be han han okay. han is to kill so there are two things that happen is that in the abhyasa bhagaha in place of her you get a jo adeshaha and uh, it's actually a two-step process and in the uh, dhatu bhaga the the uh, her has become ghar so now these are <coughs> really common rules if you see in the gita very first adhyaya it says etan um, hantu michami ghnato api madhusudana if you so if you know gita well can try to guess that sometimes the the hakara of of han becomes into a ghakara. So if you see in the Gita first it is in two places in the first chapter itself. Kulagnanam kulasyacha. So in two places in the in the first chapter of Gita you see the hakara sthane ghakara adeshaha. So han dhato ho hakara sthane ghakara adesha drishyate pratham adhyaye. Um, and that is comes in the etan uh, hantumicha ami grhato api madhusudana. So I don't want to kill these, even though they are killing me. I don't want to kill them, even though they are killing. I don't want to kill them. Etan hantumicha ami. So, but I mean, I'm just saying that. Of course, this is a different nimittam here than over there. But still, the bottom line is the same dhatu. The dhatu han has here it is etan hantumicha ami grhato api. The same dhatu han dhakara can become ghakara. So you can, if you highlight that in your mind, then you can try to make a good guess 
this might be dhatu han here also mm -hmm. um and the, the second one is the uh sankaro naraka eva kulagnanam kulasya cha narake niyatam va kulakshane nashte ya sankaro naraka eva kulagnanam kulagnanam so kulani hanti ti kulagna those who destroy the family kulagnana okay so now um see abhyasa rules balram are only about four or five rules you know you'll get great, great bang for the buck so alpa prayasa mahan labha mahan labha so you get and they all come and start from this 7459 58 and the anurti abhyasa she goes down from here and says rasva haladi this this 7459 rasva 60 haladi shesha then 62 which we need right now which is kohosh chuho that's what we need right now kohosh chuho and then there is um urat there were three point of four or five rules that's all we need but one rule says that the in place of kavarga or hakaraha we do a chavarga adesha it's of course in the abhyasa bhage so if we quickly if you look at the um uh i'm sorry we look at um let me finish this from last class hello okay if you look at the um, we start with the dhatu han and we had to do the abhyasa in lit so without going through all the sutrams han han and the pratyat tip becomes null null means it is not null as zero <laughs> but it is chutu halantyam we get akaraha so keep the final form in front of your eyes. We get, want to get the form Jaghana. Now the, the first thing we want to do in Abhyasa is that the um, a consonant can remain only if it's the first member, Haladi Shesha. You can, you, can, you can keep a consonant in the Abhyasa only if it's the first member. So that is the Haladi Shesha. So because of that, the um, Nakara in the Abhyasa drops. The second rule says as Kuhosh Chuhu. The Hakara in Abhyasa becomes the uh, Kravarga. Since the Hakara is a Mrudhuvarana Alpa Mahaprana, you take the, um, uh, the Hakara becomes, sorry, Hakara becomes the Chavarga, Kohosh Chuhu. So it becomes the Jhakara. So we get, we get Jh, Han, and um, then we get the Pratya, A, uh, Jh, Han, A. Uh. Now, after that, what happens is that the Upada of the the penultimate vowel gets takes vriddhi atopadhaya because this no as a has the, the null has no as an it letter this penultimate akara becomes long even if you don't know that it's okay that's rule you may not may not want to know but so far what let me put the numbers here what we have put is that because see unfortunately i know we're not doing too much grammar but it's hard to decide for these forms unless you know a little bit of grammar a bit of grammar is this is, is good to know otherwise you're wondering what this with this form is so we are done 7460 and 7462 as we did the abhyasa uh, karyam is and kohosh chuhu Now next will be atopadhaya. So we get uh, then when we apply that we get j um, han and o. Oh, so that is the 72116. And finally, we're going to make the hakara of han into a ghakara. So anytime you have an abhyasa, and if the dhatu han follows the abhyasa, then the hakara of han becomes ghakara, abhyasa cha. Abhyasa cha sutram, it comes in 7.3. There is a kutva prakaranam there when the kavarga adesha takes place, and it becomes um, so abhyasa cha. So following an abhyasa, I think it's seven three fifty four fifty five somewhere there. Uh, yeah, seven three fifty five abhyasa cha ho hante the hakara of han becomes a ghakara which follows abhyasa. Seven three fifty five, we're going to get the um, j and then ghan uh, ghan and now only we need one more rule only and when then we go to the tripadi karyam we'll do abhyase charcha in the abhyasa bharga basically the uh, prana is lost so maha prana becomes alpa prana so the so in abhyase charcha means that in place of jal 
you put either the char or the jash, column one or column three, means the prana is lost. So we get we get jaghana. Jaghana is the, is the final form. Jaghana. Um, Jaghana. That is, um, I think, eight three fifty four of Bihasa Chacho. So that's that's the so in this in this steps, what you should try to do is the Abhyasa Karam is only four or five rules. Those would be nice to know. And then the fact that the Hakara of Han can become Gakara. If you knew that part, that you can make a good guess in forming the word. Uh, yes, sir. So basically, Satishji, you are taking that uh, Han plus uh, whatever the tip, in the place of tip you are getting Null. Correct, correct, correct. Okay. That so, is, I'll give the number it means you are doing it for Parasmai Padi only. Parasmai Padi Rupam. Parasmai Padi Rupam. And okay. it is the Prasama Purushasya Eka Vachanam. Okay. Basically, for the lit, we are doing a replacement in the place of tip. Yes. So, Lasya. So, La becomes tip and tip becomes null. Tip and becomes null. Then you are doing that, uh, what, what, what the next step? Next step is kind of... Uh, the Abhyasa. Uh, ಅಭ್ಯಾಸ and it, i think it is 618 ah, 618 i think i am looking at it liti dhatur anabhyasa yeah, yeah, 618 there are only i think four rules only 8 9 10 11 that okay. tell you when to do abhyasa and the okay. first one is liti dhatur anabhyasa when there is lit pratyaya there then the uh, the dhatu takes abhyasa abhyasa only one time so only one time okay anabhyasa so anabhyasasya then you do you are changing the one of those uh, uh, the abhyasa what which one you are calling it as abhyasa now abhyasa karam is is puro abhyasa sutram right is puro abhyasa purva abhyasa okay purva so this is pura purva is abhyasa this is abhyasa okay. so these rules in 7.4 which we applied they apply to the abhyasa bhaga which is the pura bhaga puro abhyasa okay so we repeated haladi shesha this nakara was gone Yes, then we did kohosh to okay replace then you put karam. a dirgha also there is a dirgha also you got it for your uh, the next one purva upadhyaya we got the, the, so that is ato upadhyaya that's not abhyasa karyam okay dirgha is not abhyasa karyam abhyasa karyam only that the um, haladi shesha and the um, kohosh to only that was abhyasa karyam once we do that thing dirgha then we got our form isn't it Well, the only last thing we have to make the j into j. I'm sorry. Uh, there was a, and then we needed to make the hakar of han into g. Oh, okay. This hakar of han has to become ghakara, and we got that by abhyasa j. Because j ghana, so we need we need to make the hakara into ghakara. So that was we got abhyasa j. Satish ji. Yes. So Abhyasacha is only used in the Madhyama Purusha Ekavachana. It doesn't um, find application here. Here it is uh, Ho Hanter Yininyeshu. Ho Hanter Yininyeshu could, could work here also. Correct. But this so, but Nyaya Vashad, you know, Vinir Abhyasa is Parakaryam Abhyasacha. I see. Okay. Vinir Abhyasa is a, you correct. This one you could have done by the Nakaya Janit. You, you could have got away with it. You are right. so it, it doesn't we this year this what ravi is saying is that in this case you could have used the prior rule also ho ante ninyeshu it also works but it doesn't work for all abhyasas so that is why we use abhyasa acha um so and in any case abhyasa acha is is, is parakaryam so it's good we can use that first so try even abhyasa is there use abhyasa acha as simple as that when is not there only look at the prior one 7354 so um so that's how we got the jaghana jaghana and finally when we did the um, abhyasa charcha we got jaghana abhyasa okay because of atha upadhaya you got a vruddhi there 
Exactly. Is that correct? Atopadaya vriddhi. Correct. Atopadaya vriddhi is this one. 7 to 1 once. Atopadaya vriddhi. Okay. Correct. That is the vriddhi. Okay. Yes. So, Atopadaya vriddhi. You used a lot of sutras. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. That's what I'm saying. In, in, in one single form, you can use. Mm -hmm. That's that, that the beauty of Tinganda Prakriya. Tinganda Prakriya, you get to learn many concepts, many interactions. Many rules are applied, and which when and you anyway you know the final form. Jaghana, you already know. So it's a question of even if you don't know all the rules, even if you know few rules, you can try to make a very educated guess. So uh, what it could be. So whenever the duplication is coming, then I can assume it to be lit and then abhyasa. Yeah, lit means abhyasa. It has to take abhyasa. Okay. So, and when abhyasa comes, the the hakara of fun becomes ghakara. Mm -hmm. So these these are a few things. Just what I'm saying is that in this form, I mean, if you if you want to know minimum number of rules and make a guess at it, you know, if you if you look at this form nijaghana, you know, you can see that the uh, abhyasa is there because jagha is coming like that. Uh, of course, unfortunately, in this case, the dhatu is hakara, change in abhyasa and in the dhatu bhaga, both places. <laughs> So in Abhyasa it became by the Kuhosh uh, Chuhu and in, in the, for the Dhatu it became by the Abhyasa Chuhu. So unfortunately the Dhatu's Hakai is not seen at all over here. That's why I was telling you that the Abhyasa Karyani, you know, which, which are there, these should be known well, you know. Because they, they help you, help you to make a guess at what the Dhatu might be. Okay. So if you can say, if the Dhatu is Han, then Abhyasa checks out. You know, dhatu hanasti chet abhyasa ja bhavet. If you know that, then you can say this could be dhatu han. So just by knowing four or five rules, you can try to confirm the abhyasa karyam. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, because otherwise, these complicated forms, you you know, it's difficult to make a guess of what dhatu might be. Um, and and as I said, from the Gita, you should know that the that the hakara of han can become hakara. So that also, if you had the back, if you may not, you may not know all the rules, then the things start fitting together, you know. So now you know that you know abhyasa checks out, the dhakara is possible, and then in the, you know you can put all these pieces together. It's like a puzzle, you know. Dutarashtra uvacha, so you have uvacha over there. So then you know the atopada has applied there also. This 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 ilang this this vridhi of the upadha is seen in the Gita. Uvacha it became vacha. Dhatu is vach. So if that vach can become vacha, then han can also become hana. So these two can you can know from the Gita. The 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 uh, hakara of han taking the ghakara deshaha. And also the upada vriddhi of the rasvakara, these you know from the Gita. If you know these two, you can try to know get this dhatu might be han. And then if you know the abhyasa karyani, then you can also confirm the abhyasa ajya. If you put all that together, then of course you know the ending also from the Gita, which is null ending. That's how you try to form these, you know, pieces together and make a guess. Yes, Vasu? Um, so this is the question on the Abhyasa Karyam to recognize that. Yes, sir. Um, take this Nijagana. Suppose, Nijagana, yes, sir. Yeah. Suppose we recognize uh, Ghana could be Hana. Could be Hana, yes, sir. And uh, then we have to assume it is nihahana to start with, isn't it? Yes, ni, it should be hanhana to start with. Hanhana. Then why, what happens to the ni then? No, ni is upasarga. Ni is upasarga. It's a prutak padam. Prutak padam. So it, doesn't part, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it does not participate so at all. Are, I see the, the, the confusion for a person like me is, uh -huh. nija, I would take it as a upasarga. No, no, we have to be careful. Uh, see, uh, was, in fact, I'm glad, you, I'm glad you brought this up. Upasarga is only 22 in number. Only 22. Dhatus are hundreds of dhatus that are there. And Pratipadhyas are maybe thousands, millions. But Upasarga is only 22 in number. So those you should keep a list in front of your mind. It's, it's called Pradayah. Oh, okay. So those are only 22. And they're very common, like, you know, upper, ni, you know, nis, dus. So, you know, ah. So these are common, upper. So uh, we, so I think those you should know what upasarga this this you know what can be upasarga what cannot be should be known you know it's called what Panini calls as pradayaha. This pradayaha is is a is a gana called pradayaha, 
and in that you know you can you can see I think it comes in um, okay see Pradeha should be uh, here it is 1450 is Pradeha if you look at 1450 on this is uh, Pradi correct okay Pradi so under that you can find the knee is there so then you can try to guess well knee might be upasarga it might be you know so, so the confusion for me is the nija as a word we recognize it yes nija is a, correct you're right but then this is tingantam padam oh. it's not subantam padam yeah. even if, if you take it subantam what will it will be he nija ghana what will it be <laughs> Okay, that's so it's okay. I mean that's fine. But in, the, the, if, you, if you take Nija as 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 a, as a subantam, then it doesn't fit with the context then anywhere. You you're stuck with the ghana, yeah. and it'll be hard to find out. That's what I'm saying. Recognize the ending first of all. Also, look at the ending o over here. Yeah. That is the lit vachana purushasya eka vachana um, uh, pratyaha null. So once you recognize that, that should tip you off. To this thing, which I know, I mean, this is a difficult form because the fact that dhatu sakara was completely lost, you know. Yeah. That's why this is kind of difficult form. But if you, if you connect some pieces, you might be able to make make sense out of it. And then look at the translation. <laughs> Rama killed. So where is the killed? There's no killed. There's no word killed over here at all. Tataha shurpanaka vakyad udyuktan. This is of like Raman. This is Rama. What this is subantam, 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 subantam. Everything is subantam. Where is Tingantam Badam over here? So this is how we try to make guesses, you know, what it might be. And I know it's not easy from the beginning, but there is no other Subanta possibility here. Do you agree with me? Yeah. So yeah. then you got to start suspecting that this Nijaghana is a Tingantam Badam. Because there's nothing else that I can make Tingantam. There's, nothing, there's no other verbal form there. And then if you know at the back of your mind, Han can become Ghan. Ah, then you say there is the ghan that I see over there, and I know upasarga is knee, and now it starts coming into place. You know, in fact, to be very honest with you, if you know the dhatu can be han, you can yeah. open your dhatu vritti, you know, and you can just quickly check. You can quickly check the forms. So once you guess the dhatu, you are all set. So if you're looking at the translation, looking at the knowledge from Gita that her can become gha. If you can take a guess, dhatu might be Han, looking at the ending like watch ending, then things are falling in place, you know. Then the Upasarga and Ni, which is only 22 of them, is, you know, in fact, we put it in a document, I guess, the, the Pradayaha. So Pradayaha should be, you know, pasted on your wall somewhere. The moment you see Pradayaha, if you see Upasarga, look at the Pradayaha. has to be one of those 22 Pradayaha. 1458 is Pradayaha. And they become... Um, Upasarga Kriya Yoga. When they connect with the verb, they become Upasargas. So 1458 is Pradayaha. So that's how you have to do it. And, and sometimes you might be completely off base. It, it's okay. You know, and then you have to come back and look at it later on. But the more the more clues you can get to solve this, this puzzle, it's, that's, what, that's what makes it fun, you know, in the beginning. <laughs> it's because you have to try and, and, and um, um, decipher these forms based on the information that you have. And look up, look up the the remaining forms. So again, looking at looking at this form, I would suggest the following things. Firstly, recognize the ending. Firstly, there's no thing done to anywhere else in the sentence. Secondly, this ending fits with the form of vacha. This one fits. Even the the upada vriddhi also is fitting with that. The third piece of the puzzle is that the ni can be upasarga by a pradayaha. The fourth piece of the puzzle is that her can become ghar. From Gita, you know that chapter one. And the last thing is Abhyasa Karya, I keep on repeating many times, which is called Abhyasa, I guess, <laughs> is that there are only four or five rules. Please make the effort to at least keep them handy for reference. Only four or five rules. And they give you a lot of uh, help in these situations, you know. A lot of help. And I'll go through it one more time, is the Abhyasa Karya. You can quickly check, you know, this. if, if the Dhatu is Han, Will the abhyasa be j or not? That's all is you can check. And if that fits, now you got it. I think because then then you can say this is most likely is dhatu han. And the dhatu the rules are seven four fifty nine rasva. Since abhyasa vowel becomes short, just mentioned the rules in English. Haladi shesha. 
in a biasic you can have a consonant remaining behind surviving if it's only the if it's the first member then kuhoschu the kavarga and the hakara take the chavarga adesha and then urat in the abhyasa the ruvarna becomes akara is only the only take only these four only four number 59 60 62 66 so that's how we'll go about was that's will be my way of tackling this one you know so that will be my way to you thank you, okay? you thank you very much this needs uh, this keeps coming again and again i think it comes again and again and you're going to see it a thousand times and the more puzzles more pieces you can guess you can make a better guess next time around so okay let us see um Mr. Chicken Prasanna do it. Prasanna, are you there? Yes, it is she. Okay, you want to try doing the 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 pada vichara for us. So tata, what is what is tata? You think you can try? No problem. Tata in English. You want to try? What is 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 it a prathamya bhakti, rutya bhakti? Is it? Ah, okay. Tata is it's a prathamya bhakti ekavachanam. I think. Ah. R sixty of. Could have could have been could have been. But this is this is an avyam padam. Tata. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Tata means sadanantaram. After that, tata okay. sadanantaram. Okay, let's have next one. Shurpanakha vakyaad. What does it look like? That's a samasa. I think you mentioned uh, the samasa. But what is the vivakti of the whole samasa is taken? Shurpanakha vakyaad. Is it the fifth case? Yes, panchami ekavachana. Panchami. This is like ra. This is like vanad. Vanad. Okay. Vanad. In fact, it's also an exercise which I mentioned to you uh, is that you should be able, you should be able to take. See, there are only two kinds of words: subantam and tingantam. Subtingantam padam. For subantam, you should be able to go to your shabda rupa manjari, shabda rupa manjari, mm -hmm. and uh, you should be able to point to a word in the shabda rupa manjari, which will say that this is like this word. So we say tata is abhyam. Mm -hmm. Shurpana ka vachya is like one of it. Say one art. We should be able to open the book and say, "This is that. This is like this word." And if you don't know, ask or or find out. Just flip through the page, see if you can see anything. Oh, this one was the easy one. You say yeah. next Udyuktan. This is like Raman. Yes. Like Raman. Mm. Like Raman. But you should be able to point in the in the in the in the Shabda Rupa Manji or Rupa Vali, whatever it is, and you know okay. look at that. So that'd be a good exercise. Same thing with Nijakhan. You should be able to go to the Dhatu Rupa Vali, the Rupa Manji, and See over there if you can if you can do that. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Let's finish the samasa. Shurpana ka vakya. What kind of samasa could this be? Is it shasti? Shasti is a tosha. Very simple samasa. Is shurpana ka ya ha vakya. Yeah. And this is probably hetau is instigated by on account of the statement or the vakya. Uh, I uh, think is prayernaya. Prayernaya is by the instigation of. Shurpanaka, uh, on account of what Shurpanaka had to say, Nakha mm Vakya. -hmm. Now, Udyuktan Sarva Rakshasa Dutiya Bahu Vachanam. Yes. Moment you see Dutiya, you have to make the Samandha with generally some Dhatu, Tingantam Rupam, Atwa, some mm -hmm. Prudanta form. Maybe maybe an Amviya, but the Dutiya requires some Ashraya. Dutiya yeah. has Swatantram Nasti. It cannot stand on its own. It cannot say Janan. So, mm. so, what's the samanda here? Can you can you make the which is you know, which is the ashraya for this dutiya? Udyuktan sarva rakshasan nijaghana. Nijaghana. That's only what he. On it is it is a karma. It is a karma of nijaghana. So okay. Sri Rama killed all the rakshasas who were bent set out. Who were By Shurpanaka's words. Okay, By okay. Shurpanaka's words. That's words. what. So, but anyway, right. when the dvitiya comes, try to find, and what is dvitiya is based on which word? Mm. It is hanging on to something. Dvitiya hangs on to something. To find out what that is, you know, and that is the thing and the balam nijaghan over here. Okay, okay. now udyuktan. What do you think is going on? Udyuktan. Udyuktan. Uh, Want to guess the dhatu here? Okay. Um. I cannot guess the answer to this. Okay, let's let's give let's give uh, let's see if what you can try. What you want to try this with Yuktan? What you want, Datu? Hmm. If you do that, then what will become? It will become Udi Uktan. Udi Uktan, right? Now Udi is not Upasarga. Was Udi is not. This is Pradeya. 
the one uh-huh. for there's no upasa called udi utta right udi is there but then become ud then how become ud yukta with the yakara drishyate atra so that won't come with the sandhi rose there no but see ud uktan yakara only comes in place of e vasu yeah then if you say ud and uktan then where will be the e Okay, remove the ud, become yuktan. How about now? Can you try it, try it now? Oh, yeah. Yuktan. What is dhatu in yuktan? Yukti. Yoga. Dhatu yeah. is yuj, yuj. Yuj dhatu. Yuj becomes yukta, means joint. Ud yukta. Ud yukta means that one who is set out, bent on doing something. Ud yukta. Ud yuktan. So, ud yuktan sarva rakshasan. That's qualifying sarva rakshana. Sarva rakshana, of course, is like again like Raman. It's the, that's the karma of the nijaghana. It's the karma dharya samasa, sarva rakshasa. So all the all the demons. And then karam shiras tishirasan chayva, trishirasan chayva. Now, tishirasan. What is the part of the karma? What do you think? Trishirasan. Trishirasan. Yeah. What is the part? Shiram shiraha. Uh, so, Dvitiya. Dvitiya Dvitiya what, what is the Pradipadikam here? What is uh, the choice? Uh, Shira. Uh, so it, it, it can be Ramavat. Is it Ramavat? It could be. Uh, it, 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 it may be Napumsaka Lingam, right? No, this is the name of a Rakshasa. He is the Napum- I, I know, but the thing is when you are taking the Shira. Uh, no, Shiras by itself is a is a correct. is yeah. napum selling of pratipadi kam yeah become shiraha shirasi shiraunsi yeah. but this is a bahuvrihi so yeah. three ni shira three ni shiraunsi yasya saha yeah yeah you are uh, you are just going through the three uh, this one uh, today what is the what is the pratipadi kam over here uh, trishiras si pratyap trishiras very yeah. good trishiras yeah. It's not Trishira so like Ramavat. It could have been. Could have because if you say Rama, because Rama also becomes Ramam, correct? Yeah, and also the Napumsaka Lingam takes the same like uh, it's Akaranta Napumsaka. Yeah, it could have been like one or more. So, but this can, but you know, this, this is this is a Rakshasa. It is it is not going to be Napumsaka. Yeah. Even though Shira is Napumsaka because of yeah. Bahu, it has become now a masculine form. Yeah. But the point is that this could have been Ramavat from the form, but it is not because, of course, as you mentioned, the Pratipadikam is Shiras. So it becomes three Shiras, three Shiras Pratipadikam, three Shiras, three Shiras Sam, three Shiras plus Am, three Shiras Sam. That's so. That it is. It is. Uh, I said three ni Shiraon si yes yes aha so bahu ni kampam. Okay. And cha eva du shanam. Let me see if we can do Kartik Acha. So Kartik, what Dushanam, what kind of Pratya is over here? Dushanam, I think is uh, uh, Lut. See, Lut will only give like an abstract noun most of the time, Kartik. This I'll uh, say. Lut, like when you say, uh, or it, can, it can be also a Karana Adi Karana Acha. Karana Adi Karana Yosha. So, see, Lut comes to create only a abstract noun. So Dushanam will be only like, you know, spoiling. So it will be Liu. Liu Pratyaya is coming here. Yes. In fact, let's quickly look at these two. Pratyaya uh, Lyutcha comes in the Nabhumsege uh, Bhavektaha Lyutcha. That will create only abstract nouns. It will not, and it will create a noun. It will not qualify somebody. This is qualifying the Rakshasa. Dushan, like Ramana Maharshi, Ramana. Janan Ramayati the Ramanaha. One who pleases people. So Madhusudanaha. So Madhunama Daityam Sudayati Madhusudanaha. So this is like you know the Dushanam uh, is one with one who spoils everything. You know. Now I think Dhatu. What is Dhatu here? Let me look. Dush. At Dhatu. How it became Dirga? Uh, Dush to Dushanam. Because you cannot get you will you'll get Guna at the most. You'll not get Dirga, right? I think there is a dosho now or something. Ah, very good, yeah. Mujhte yeah. bhavata. Very good, very good. Yes, we're getting there slowly. Anyway, for for the for the same rest of the class, this sut this sutam lutcha comes under napumsake bhavekta. Then you got karana di karana yoscha. 
like asanam, that or that on which you sit. But asanam will not be the one who sits. It will be, you know, that by which you sit or on which you sit, but it can be sitting like that. It will not be the one who sits. But we want dushanam is the rakshasa, the one who spoils everything. Dushan, one who defies everything is dushana. So now we got the pratya. Now what is pratya liu coming then? Where does that come from? What number is that? Can you think roughly? After nul trichna, right? Nandi grahi chadi priyolyo nyacha. After nul trichna, correct. That one is coming in uh, this nandi grahi pachadi bio liu nyacha. So this liu pratya, <coughs> like nanda na ha. Nanda na ha is you know like the kuru nanda na, one who one who again gives joy to the kuru clan is kuru nanda na. So nandiyadi dhatus take the form, take the take the pratya liu. This is the gana. But of course, it can be expanded also. So do shana. But then the we probably have here a niche pratya in between there, one who causes everything to be spoiled. The because as as Karthik said, we have to to get the become do shana. Because must just just become do shana. Otherwise, you want do shana. So where would that be, Karthik? What number would that be roughly? Will it be after dhalo pe purva siddhi bhona? Somewhere below that. Uh, no, I think this is probably going to be in this, uh, it's in the Angasya Dikara, this Angasya Dikara is correct, mm -hmm. but it can be maybe, it could be even be in 6.4, uh, because the first case should make it in 7.3, from Acho Niti, Anurutti goes down for a long way, so maybe it could be in that in that section, but that's not, that may not be, have to be the only, only section, it could be, let's see if you can look at the, um, Sutram. It's actually 6490. 6490. I said 6490 is the number. Let's look at the some anurtis for that. 6490. So this is a special thing where the dhatu dush, it takes a causative form, becomes dush, dushayati, dushayati, uh, which I think we saw some time before. Uh, and the 6490 is the sutram over here. It says um, dosho now. See, udupadhayaha. So the, the upadha becomes ud when naupare, when nishpatya follows for dhatu dush. It's a special, it's a special, special form. Become dushanam. Anyway, the, the important thing I'm trying to point out without too much grammar is that this dushanam is not the abstract noun that you get from adding lut pratyaha. It is, it is in the sense of a doer. Secondly, there's a causative in here, one which causes, one who causes everything to be spoiled. Is this is dusha because the dirga dusha is seen over here. Means pratya niche must be in a dusha nam. So don't jump to the conclusion. Unfortunately, the confusing thing here is that because it's dvitya ek vachanam, it might look like you know asanam etc. Karanam asanam, but it is not like one of shabda. This is rama vach shabda dvitya ek vachanam. If you if you saw the form dusha na, then you would know it is not like lut pratya because lut only comes the fourth second. In, in the sense of the bhave, okay. One more thing about lut is not, I mean, now that I'm going too deep, I think, but when the lut pratya in the sense of bhave only is napumsake. The karanadi karana yoscha is not napumsake. So you can have word like tarjani, dharani, lekhani, rajadhani. These are also ending in pratya lut. But they are feminine forms. Feminine forms. So the um, karanadi karana yoscha doesn't require to be napumsake. So that by which you terrorize is Tarjani, your pointing finger. Dharani is the earth, that in which everything is held. Lekhani, that by which you write a Lekhani. This Karanadi Karana Yoscha. And so it doesn't have to be in neutral forms. But um, I think here what confusion might have arisen is that look at Dushanam, it might just look like a abstract neutral noun, which of course will not make any sense, because this is qualifying Rakshasaha. So this cannot be just an adjective. Adjective message will not be the um, uh, lut. So then we have to think about pratya liu. Liu comes after some dhatus in the sense of an agent, like Ramanaha, Nandanaha, Dusudanaha, and so on, like that. So this is the, and then the, the another thing is the dush becoming dush. A special thing for the dhatu dush, when it becomes causative, it becomes, uh, it takes the upada becomes ud. So dushanam chaiva rakshasam. So these, these are all qualifying rakshasam. So karam rakshasam, 
Okay, let me see. Can we try the translation now? I think we are ready to try it. Let's see. Is Balram going to do it for us? Balram? Yes, Satishi. All right, let us start. Sri Rama. 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 Then. Tataha. Tataha. Killed. Nijagana. Nijagana. On the field of battle. Rane. Rane. All the ogres. Um, Sarva Rakshasan. Sarva Rakshasan. That came prepared. Mm, uh, Udyuktan. 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 Um, uh, at the instigation of Shurpanakha. Shurpanakha Vakyat. Shurpanakha Vakyat. Um, including. Cha e cha or eva cha. Chaiva chaiva is cha chaiva. Um, Kara, of course, is this one. Karam. Karam. Trishira. How, Trishira. Why do put, you put Trishira over here, by the way? Because the Pradipadi is Trishiras Pradipadi. This will be declined like Vedas. If we take the Prathama Ekvachanam of Trishiras, we become Trishira. Mm -hmm. That's why we put Trishira over here. This is like Vedha. Ha. Chandrama. Ha. That's why we put it. Okay, so Trishiram, Trishirasam. And then, uh, and, and the... And this chair. Uh, and the and the and the ogre. What is that? Um, must be rakshas. Rakshasam. Rakshasam. Mm -hmm. Dushana. This one. Dushana. Dushana. As also. This one is here. Chayeva. There. Desham. Desham. Followers. Padan. Padanugan. Padanugan. So this is what I'm saying. If you keep on doing like this, step by step. If you do Ramayana 24,000 shloka, I can guarantee you, you will almost know the whole language. And of course, you may not get all of it. Take 20%, 30%, even 10%, even 5%. That also is okay. You can try. You can say, Shur Pranakha Vakyat, at the instigation of Shur Pranakha, on the field of battle is Rane, you know, that came prepared, Udyuktan. So really you can learn the language and how this is a, this is a fantastic translation which will be done by Gita Press. It's uh, Mahati Seva, Asmakam Sadhakana Mahati Seva Akrata. So uh, we, have to, we have to take that and make the best use of it. Um, okay, let's take the next sentence now. It was, it is, let's see, 14,000 Umeshwar. Okay, I think the same thing is happening is here is the reason that Gita Press had to take all these together from 47 to I think 55 is because all these are ending in the middle of the shloka. So, Vakyasya Viramaha, Shloka Madhye, so, Drishyate, so, Labhyate, Tasmat Karanat, they have taken Sangashaha, Sangashaha, Grihitaha, Shloka, they have taken together. Okay, now, um, so we go from Vane Tasmin up to Chaturdasha. So, vane tasmin nivasata janasthana nivasinam rakshasam nihatanyasan sahasrani chaturdasha. One more time. Vane tasmin nivasata janasthana nivasinam rakshasam nihatanyasan sahasrani chaturdasha. Okay, you want to do some kati for us? It's pretty easy one. Do the padachara for us? Uh, yeah. Uh, vane mm -hmm. tasmin. Tasmin. Uh, Nivasata, Nivasata, huh? No, 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 no. Ni oh, Nivasata, Nivasata. Nivasata is because, you know, this is Satrupatya. Oh, okay, okay. Nivasata. Nivasat Pradipadikam. Nivasat. Janasthana Nivasinam. That is a uh, Samasa, Samastampadam. Samasa. Okay. Rakshasam. Uh, Rakshasam. Uh, Nihatani Asan. Asan. Sahasrani. Chaturdasha. Chaturdasha. Okay, let's start with the uh, Vivaktis. So, Vane. Vane, uh, vane is uh, Saptami uh, Ekavachanam uh, Vana Pratipadikam Napunsagalingam. Napunsagalingam. Vane. So, Vane is in that place. So, honestly, the Saptamis and Shashtis and Chaturthis or sometimes they can be left out in the beginning. Even if, even if you don't take um, Vane, it will not, you know, that clause will not make uh, it would not hurt you so much. What is Tingam Dampadam here? Uh, asan. 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 
This is the Achaf Parasmin Purva Vidhav. Achaf we Parasmin. say it cannot be open. No, I'm saying this is not um, the uh, Purva Vidhav. It's not doing any Purva Vidhav. Achaf Purva Vidhav is only when you want to do some Purva Vidhav. Anyway, there also is a stopping only. Purva Vidhav, you cannot do Purva Vidhav. Mm -hmm. Parasmin Purva Vidhav. But that's not, will not help. But we want to do the Ard Agama. See, this mm -hmm. is what, what I was saying is that in the 6-4, there is the Shnasoral Lopaha. Um, this says that when you have a kitnit Pratye Pare, the Akara of uh, us drops. That's why it becomes Asti Saha. So, yes. Is it Asiddhava Dattrabhat? Very good. That is the reason why. Okay. Both of these are coming in this section, the, the Abhi Akaryam, uh -huh. which is the Shnasoral Lopaha as well as the Arajadina, then a section of this Asiddhavada Trabhat. So in this section, these, these sutras can apply in, without seeing each other. So when you do the Shansara Lopaha, this is not seen by the Arajadina. It still thinks that the Akara is still there. So that still applies and makes it Asana. Awesome. So that is the Arajadina and also the Shansara Lopaha are both coming in this section of this Asiddha Vata Trabhat. So, so that is why they can apply like that uh, without creating a problem. Otherwise, if you do the uh, Shasura Lopaha with Parakaryam, you cannot do Arajayinam after that. So that was, that's the important thing in this form, Asan. Okay, let's go back. So, Vane Tasmin, of course, is what Saptimi Ekochanam. Saptimi Ekochanam. Tasmin Vane in that forest. Nivasata. Uh, Nivasata is Nivasat Pratipadikam uh, Tritiya Vibhakti Ekavachanam. Ekavachanam. Nivasata. So Nivasata Ramena. So, Ramena. So by Rama who is dwelling in that forest. Because we have this Kramani Praga going on here. Nihatani. Mm -hmm. Nihatani. So Ramena Nihatani Asan. Nihatani Asan. So 14,000 were killed by Rama who were who was dwelling in that forest were killed by him. Nihata is Handhatu uh, or Sutra very quickly. Nihata will be Ugitacham uh, Sarvanavas. I'm sorry, Anudato Padesha Vanaditanotyadina. Very good. Anudato Padesha Vanaditanotyadina. Anudnasika Lopo, Jali Kingiti. Jali Kingiti. Because the Dhatu Han is Anudato Padesha Mistanid Dhatu, or Pratyakta that Nakara of Han will drop, becomes Nihata. So Nihatani is disqualifying the Sahasrani. So it's going to be uh, like Vanani, Nihatani. Mm -hmm. Now, Janasthana Nivasinam, what is this uh, form? Uh, it's, uh, it is a uh, Shashti uh, Tatpurusha. Meaning it's a uh, Shashti Bahuvachana, meaning that's the ending, Vibhakti. No, Vibhakti ending is the Shashti Bahuvachana. Shashti Bahuvachana. What kind of Samasa is that? Uh, Janasthana, niva, janasthana Nivasin, so it will be Janasthane 
I think it should work right. Janasthanasya Nivasinaha. I think you probably you can 50. probably make it go for the Upada directly, I think. Oh. Janasthane Nivasati Tachi Lena is Janasthana Nivasin. Sin. Oh. Janasthana Nivasin. I think we can like in um, Supya Jato Nistachilya. Nistachilya. I think you can probably do that. So one who dwells in uh, uh, in the Janasthana, Janasthana Nivasin. Okay. Then we can do that. Janasthana Nivasin. Janasthana Nivasin Pradipadikam. Nivasinam. Why not become Nivasinam over here? Nami. Uh, big, uh, this is not uh, a Nami because Na belongs to the Pratipadika itself. It doesn't correct, belong to correct, the... Correct, correct, correct. Pratya. So it doesn't, it doesn't belong. This is not the, the not Agama for the Pratya. Am Nakaras. This is Nakaras of Pradipadika Nakara. So we become Janasthana Nivasinam. It's qualifying Rakshasam. Rakshas Pradipadikam. The Rakshasam also is Shashti Bhavashanam of Rakshas Pradipadikam. Now Rakshasam Sahasrani. Uh, Chatudasha Sahasrani. Sahasrani is what? Uh, Sahasrani is a neuter uh, 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 Dvitiya Vibhakti Bahuvachana. Uh, try again. Karmi Prayer. So oh, Asan, Asan, so I yeah, it's Prathama Bahuvachana. Prathama Vibhakti Bahuvachana, Sahasrani. Chatudasha Sahasrani. Chatudasha is qualifying Sahasrani. So there were 14,000 Chatudasha Sahasrani. There is one problem here, by the way, which you know we don't go into deep. But see, normally this um, there is a uh, you know vachanam which is which is said that this sankhya, when it is used in as it can be used, see up to the numbers in samskritam, are uh, you know up to one to nineteen, they can only be adjectives for something else, and they have you know their forms in uh, all three genders, they can they can have forms. For example, you can say Ekam Pustakam Eka Nadi, you know, Ekaha Purushaha and so on. So they are they, they qualify somebody and they always in the sense of Sankhya, yeah, the one who should be counted. So it is in this is in that sense. The one to nineteen. Among that of course the one is uh, Eka is Eka Vachan Shabdaha, the Dvi is Vivachan Shabdaha and the three Sabrati, they are only Nitya Bhavachan, only they have. Now, Vimshati onward is changes, but they have their own gender. And Vimshati up to the uh, Nava Navati from 20 to 99, they are feminine words, feminine words. And they are in Eka Vachanam normally. But when they, st and a Sahasram is, is, is a neuter Pradipadikam, becomes Sahasram. Mm -hmm. There also will be Eka Vachanam. So, um, and it can only take this divachanam, bahuvachanam when it stands as sankhya itself. So the problem here is that, of course, the number was not killed. The rakshasas were killed over here. So that is the small issue that, that the commentators have brought up this issue. In fact, the, 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 um, the shloka is like this. I'll read it out to you quickly, not to spend uh, too much time. But in the, actually, I'm looking at the Bhaimi Vakya. It's on volume 4, uh, page 258. Is uh, 204, he explained 204. Vimshatyadya sankhya, 20 onwards, sada ekatve. So sada ekavachananta, they can only take ekavachanam. And sankhya sankhya yo ho, they can either stand for the sankhya itself or they can stand for the uh, qualifying somebody somebody else. Sankhya arte di bahutve staha. When they stand for themselves, they can also take, you know, the uh, divachanam or bahuvachanam. And so that is, that is, and tasu anavatehe striyaha. Up to 90, they are feminine, feminine. So now the examples, for example, this is this quick example you can give is that, the reason I bring this up is that you have a bit of a problem. Because if the fact that it becomes sahasrani, so standing for the, for the, for the number 14,000. The number 14,000 was not killed. Only Rakshasas were, were killed. So for example, you can say Gavam Tisraha Vimshatayaha. So they are, they are three twenties of cows. They are 60 cows. We send for the number three times 60. So here what we have is that since Bahuvachanam has been used, this is standing for the Sankhya itself now. It's not qualifying anybody else. Of course it is, it is 14,000 number of the Rakshasas. 
number of this number is that number only so in the, in the vyakhyanam what they have said is samadhanam is that of course you cannot kill the sankhya itself so uh, they have commented that you know the this you have to understand you have to, you have to transform that and make it that um, let's see what is this chaturdasya uh, sahasrani tat sankhya sankhyatani sainyani tishesha so you make it into a it into an into an adjective and then you change that and which is you know rakshasa which was that much in number you have to you have to understand that otherwise you know there will be it will be difficult to make um, chaturdasha sahasra sankhyakani sainyani va so they were they were the rakshasas who were 14000 in number I mean, it's only a technical problem otherwise the meaning is pretty clear that 14000 of the demons were killed uh, of demons residing in that janasthana were killed by Rama who was uh, residing in that forest by Rama so uh, anyway these sankhyas have behaved like that these sankhya is trained in samsutam they have their own thing which is you know the uh, one two three four also have different forms in each gender the five onwards they are adjectives five to nineteen but they are the same forms in all genders. Like pancha fide pancha, pancha naraha, pancha pustakani, pancha striyaha api. Same, same pancha, pancha, pancha. But if you take dvi, you become dvau, narau, become dve vane pustake. Again, same dve uh, naryau, two ladies. So they'll take different forms. And 20 onwards, they have their own gender. It's also very strange. Vimshatihi naraha. So Naraha is becoming masculine and plural. Vimshati he stays Ekocham Stilinge. <laughs> so it's sound very strange. It's Samadhikaram really. Twenty men. Vimshati he is Ekavachanam. Stilinga. While Naraha becomes, you know, whatever it is. It can be Vimshati Pustakani also. You know. In that case, Vimshati is qualifying Pustakani or, or Naraha. But maintaining its own gender and number. One number only. So that's the way it is. But when they stand for their Sankhya itself, then they can take dual. Like there are two twenties here. There are, there are three twenties. Then it is, it is Sankhya Pradhana, not Sankhya Pradhana. It's not standing for Sankhya here. Um, okay, and then of course from Shatam is again goes back to, to neutral. Sahasram is neutral. Again, Ek Vachanam there only. So, so Shatam Naraha. So there are the hundred, hundred people, you know. So. Okay. So with that uh, note, let's see, can we take... Uh, Satyaji? Yes, yes. Chatur Dasha is because of uh, Shadbhyo look? Yes, Shadbhyo look. Shadbhyo look, okay. Exactly, because Dashan Pradipati come. Dashan. Okay. Dashan plus uh, Jas. Yes. So Shadbhyo look, and after that, Narupadipati Pradipati 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 Correct, correct. Yes. Uh, Ravanji? Yes, sir. Ready? Okay. Let's see, 14. 14. Chatur Dasha? Dasha. 1000. Sahasrani. Sahasram. Sahasrani in this we keep it as it is Sahasram. But it will be Chitadu Dasha Sahasram Rakshaunsi Nihatani Asan. So the Nihatani should be qualified in Rakshaunsi really, not the Sahasrani. But anyway, the way it is, is thousand is the Sahasrani. Now off ogress. In English it's not fine. In English it's not fine. English, no problem. Because <laughs> 14,000 of the demons were killed. <laughs> so that way in English it works okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, of ogress is? Rakshasam. Rakshasam. Dwelling in Janasthana. Okay. Janasthana Nivasinam. Janasthana Nivasinam. Were made, were, were, were what? Um, were will be asan. Okay. I think were. Made short work. Nihatan. Nihatani. 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 Uh, by Rama. That was supplied, I guess. Supplied, no. While, 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 Rame, no? while sojourning, while dwelling. In Nivasata. Nivasata. In that. Tasmin. Tasmin and forest is? Vane. Vane. Okay, good. Uh, let's see, next one we will take up to this one, um, stupefied uh, sort. Okay, we have to go up to here. Again, the same thing, up to this one. So, Tato Nyati Udham Shutva Ravana Krodha Mochitaha. Sahayam Varayamasa Marichan Nama Rakshasam. Tato Nyati Vadam Shutva Ravana Shrodhamu Chitaha. 
sahayam varyamasa madhichan nama rakshasam. So um, again, tataha avyapadam yathapuram, tataha is tadanantram, after that. This is a story, you know, then, English, English means simply means then, tataha means then. Nyati vadham shutva, so you can see the tvanta vadham, that means there must be some samana karta, and there must be uttaravartini kriya. So all we see is pratyaktva, which might become lyap if we have a, a samasa formation. Then look at who is the samana karta, and what is uttaravartini kriya. So here it's Ravanaha clearly, and then varayama also. So these two blocks you can put in place, you know, is find the samana karta, find the uh, uttaravartini kriya, which is um, Ravanaha is samana karta, varayama is uttaravartini kriya. Okay, so nyati vadham this is Shashitat Purushaha, so uh, Nyati Nam Vadaha, so this Dhatu Han takes a special form, becomes Vadaha, so Nyati Vadham, Shrutva, this is Dutiyantam Vadham, so it has to be again taking on, you know, Sasya Ashraya Bhavet, must have some support somewhere, so Shrutva, so in this is a very simple straightforward sentence, Nyati Vadham Shrutva, Shudhatu Shru, having heard of the slaughter of his kinsmen, Nyati Vadham Shrutva, Ravanaha, Nakrodha Muchataha. So what kind of form is Kathik you think, Krodha Muchataha? Krodha Muchataha is Bahuvri. No, no, sorry, it is I think Krodhena Muchataha, Tritiya Tatpurusha. Tritiya Tatpurusha, Krodhena Muchataha. But now this Muchataha, one thing is that, this Dhatu Murch, this one is actually what is called again the Tarakadibhya Itach Pratyaya. This is not a, mm -hmm. this is not a uh, Nishthanta Padam. It is, the, you have to first form because the Dhatu Mooch has a special rule. It becomes Murta. The, 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 in fact, this commentator also says that the Govinda Raja makes that point in the commentary. Is that, Nacha Ayam Murcha Tehe Nishtha. Murta iti tad rupatvat. If you take the nishtha of murta becomes murta. And kintu murcha asya sanjata iti murchitaha tarakadi vat itach. If you know a little bit more, more grammar, you can appreciate these commentaries also what they are trying to say. Look at the dhatu murcha. It has a special rule. Okay, let's quickly look at that. The temptation is to make it into a nishtha because it's very common. But is also a tadita pratyaya called itach, which gives the same same similar looking form, you know, like sanyataha, you know, shankitaha, shankitaha. So shanka sanjata aschiri shankitaha. So he's not the one who's doubted, he's the one who has the doubt. So this Ravana was the one who had the murcha, in which murcha had, had, had shown up some murchitaha. Now quickly, uh, this mention this rule, why the murcha becomes murta. If you look at this, some details, I think it's right before the, uh, I think it might be right before that. Um, let's see, I think it's right here. This one, Rallopaha, Rallopaha, this one, the murcha, this one has become that the, um, the after the repa, the the the, the chacha takes lopa becomes murta. This yes, six four twenty one is is what is that? Right before the asiddhavada prabhat, the prayer sutra ral lopa. So now what do we do? We take murcha and add to the pratya itach. So itach pratya I think comes in five or two. Tadasya sanjatam tarakadi bhyo itach. So when you add the pratya itach, it means that it is that in which this thing has shown up, has appeared. He says, you know, tarik, ta, uh, tarakitam navaha. It is a starry sky. It is a sky in which the uh, taranam pradur bhavaha drishyate. So taraha sanjataha asminiti tarakitam navaha. It is that in which the stars have appeared. So it says uh, pushpitaha vrikshaha. So pushpani sanjatani asminiti pushpitaha vrikshaha. So like that, you know, sanyatam. So sanya sanjata asiri sanyatam. We just taken a sanya, whatever it might be. In Gita, yoga sanyatam. That is um, also the example of, of this sutram. 
I'll give the number for that. Taraka Adibya. Tadasya Sanjatam. Okay. Tadasya Sanjatam is 5236. 5236. So we'll have to take this from Murcha. Uh, so start with the Murcha because this has to be taken from Pratipadikam. This is not a Kruzanta Pratyaya. This is this is not Kruz Pratyaya, I should say. This is a Tadita. So you take Kruz Tadita from, I mean, from the Mia Pratipadika, I'm sorry, Mia Pratipadika. So the word Murch, so found the word Murcha first, um, and then add to that the Patya Itach, Ita. Of course, then the Angam takes the Bhasanya, and you yes, see teacher, and you get the form. Uh, so this is 5236 is the, the Sutram. So this is Tarak Adibya Itach, 5236. Then we get the form Murchita. Murchita. Uh, this is now an adjective qualifying somebody. So here, of course, we get the Yachipam and uh, Yes Chi teacher. Yes Chi teacher. Six, four, one, forty eight. Uh, one, forty eight. Murchita. That's how this word is for Murchita. Is that in which whom? In which whom we should kind of madden, stupefied. He was stupefied on account of the anger. He was stupefied. The Murchanamila means swooned, but I think he was like fainted. But I think he was so close a Vyapta. He was overcome with, completely enveloped in. He was stupefied by anger. Ravana Hakoda Murchitaha. So having heard, this is only a clause so far. So having heard of the slaughter of his kinsman, Ravana was completely overcome with anger, stupefied by anger. And Sahayam. Sahayam Varayamasa Maricham. So Sahayam is Saha, one who goes with you, accomplice, accomplice, friend, Sahayam. After that becomes Sahayam will become friend with that, means assistance, Sahayam. So Sahayasya Bhavaha Sahayam. That's what can be, um, so, so that is the um, assistance. But Sahayam, I think it is Saha and Hatu we can take, I think, I or might be in also, but Sahaya is one who goes with you, Sahaya. So, Varayamasa Mari Cham. So, Varayamasa, what from the Kartik, Varayamasa? Uh, it's a little car. Anuprayogalit. Anuprayogalit. What does that tell you? What must be in there? Uh, Anekaj Dhatu, is it? Uh, yes, Aneka Dhatu, but this is not Dhatu, Dhatu is, is Vru only. Vru. So, uh, so, um, so this must be a niche patya must be in there. Niche, right. yeah, niche. So that is a niche has been taken place. Even dhatu vru, vru itself means to to choose. And vru plus niche also means to choose. Another meaning is there. So I think this churadigana also is kind of, I think guru might be in churadigana also. But the bottom line is if you see the anuprayaga lit, most of the time, but in everywhere in Gita, it's going to be nijanta only form. Nijanta. Mm -hmm. Like ashvasaya masa. Kathaya Masa, you know, Darshaya Masa, so all these places, if you see the, this Amasa form, or Amasa Tu, Amasu, whatever, then most of the time you can you can guess it's going to be the, in fact, it's going to be the only place, but the most common place is going to be the um, Nijanta, Nijanta Dhatu Vaha. But Karthik said it could be any Anekaj Dhatu, or, but it is, most common is this one. Let's see, maybe we can see in Apte Dictionary if we can, Dhatu Vru if we take. <coughs> so, okay, let's see if we can, uh, uh, Dhatu Vru, I think it might be also in the, in the 10th Kana, uh, Dhatu Vru. Oh, wrong search, I guess. Hmm. In the entry one. I think I look for all the words starting where I should took the exact unit. Let's, let's try that. Uh, okay, let me try that. Uh, okay, Vru, okay. let's try this one. Vru, see what it says. Okay, it might be in 10th Gana also causative to cover, to conceal, to prevent. So, Varayati, to choose. Uh, varayati, no. Choose. Unfortunately, this, I don't know how we got Varayati. I think, 
think way for the tenth. I think there's there's some typos in dictionaries. A lot of times the tenth Gana is mentioned as first Gana in this dictionary, this online dictionary. I think I found one more place where the uh, it's actually tenth Gana is put as first Gana. Uh, Satish ji. Yes. Uh, if it is uh, niche there, wouldn't wouldn't it become varaya masa instead of varaya masa? Yes. Okay. Let's see what could be the reason for that varayati. Varayati. Yes. Varayati is also here. Let's see what what could be the reason for that. Mm. Mm. Looking at the print edition, does it? Yeah. Yes. It is tenth gana is the. Um, Tenth gana upadi is where to choose to select to choose in marriage. Tenth gana. What could reason for? It? Can you think of, think of anything? Varaya <coughs> masa. Mm -hmm. Good point. Come like niwari yati. Right. Let's see. Let's go to. Uh, we will try to find the answer. Look at the dhatu vritti. Maybe maybe there might be something there. This is the dhatu vru in the tenth gana. Let's see if dhatu vru is different. What all gana is there? There, it might give the reason for the. It's a good question because normally you should have had achunyati, nivaraya masa, so varaya masa, but here that has that has not happened. So vritti bring guru 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 bring some varaya vritti no varanti. No guru varane kriyadi ganha. Also, dhatu guru is also there in the uh, long guru also is there. That also could be uh, maybe bring varane. Yes, see, let's try this one. Bring varane swadigana. Um, churadigana. Seven one five page. Let's see what what he has to say. Seven one five. Varayama. Uh, so no, no variety only says it's personal position. No, no. Abhishekma. Okay. There is also a varayipsaayam in churadigana. Varayipsa. Even there, should you got to put the hash, wouldn't you? Even if you take very if I am, she should become, should become, this should be a top of the hash, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Let's try, let's try the, this may be in the, um, some of the, uh, bring Varane. Let me take the Varane. Let's try that one with the, with the niche is 6570. There might, there must be some special rule here, because otherwise, as you said, it cannot become the varayama. Uh, so let's see. Um, no, I think this varayipsayam is below katha. So it like kathayati, it becomes varayati. Ah, varayati. Okay, maybe it could be it. Uh, but then the commentator has said it is the way that they have said here is that. Um, what number is shloka is this? We are looking at. We are looking at uh, number varayamasa. Okay, number fifty, right? I think I remember one commentator is saying that the guru is being used here, and it is also the same as the uh, uh, niche being in there. Uh, uh, see, bring varane. This swarthe niyantopi. We see things bring varane. Swarthe niyantopi. Let me see if anybody else has given. Sorry to waste your time, but Vajamanaha. Varayama Svichakara. Okay, they are not giving reason why it become from varayama. So, okay, that like is homework for me. Those or make it. Okay, that'll be an example to post, right? <laughs> but he's claiming the dhatu is very varane only is what what they're what they're claiming. But then that raises the question: How it became varayama? So not varayama. So. Um, it says variety here also, so that is not the thing. Okay, I will 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 we'll try to um, see what that's going on over there. How become varayama so not varayama so. Um, but anyway, when you have the niche pratyaya there, that's when 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 even we use this pratyaya arm. Was who has a question? Um, yes, Prasu. 
Satishti, I also identified Vrinj Varane in the Tika. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I did, but but the thing is that, you know, if that is the use, then how would we justify the... He says, Swarthe Niyantopi, he's saying all that, so Nijanta is Swarthe, so Nish didn't change the uh, meaning of it, I understand that. But then we have to somehow... Vrinj, Vrinj will, will become Vranoti. We will become Vranoti, yes. Vranoti, Vranoti. So that's correct, but now we have a niche coming in between there. So we have to justify how they became the, you know, the become sort of varayamasa, how become became varayamasa. Is that now? I looking looking at Apte's dictionary over here. The clue that I see is that it has become um, says varayati varayate to choose select. So now which one is he taking over here? He's taking the um, we'll look at the print edition of it uh, in Varayati Varayate he has taken um, okay uh, he's saying 10th Gana Vepati Varayati so maybe maybe Dhatu in 10th Gana maybe to choose select he's not taking causative he's taking the 10th Gana Dhatu becomes Varayati so maybe maybe Kati might be right maybe Kathari maybe could be yeah. So I think I think maybe I think dhatu var might be var is katha adi dhatu, right? Katha. Yeah. Yeah. I think that might be it. That is, is tika might be a little bit off because I think var if you take dhatu var, and then but then he lists after listing on dhatu vru only is listing it, but the listing here under dhatu vru only, not under dhatu var, is it? Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's still dhatu vru only being listed, and he's saying saying varayati. Um, Okay, give me one more minute to see if, if you can look in the Churadigana Dhatu Vru. You must be here. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes these things, you know, we have to um, research. I, I didn't notice that, but it's, it's a good question. If you look at all the, the right. Churadi forms of the Churadigana, let's see, Vrang Sambhakta Vajaradi Churadi Vruji Churadi Vri Varane Churadi. It's Avarane. How do you want that? Vru Vru Vrish 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 there's a long guru also, but that's not the one that you want. Okay, so that's homework for me. Next time I'll see, you know, how did it become the Rasmaha, we'll, we'll uh, decipher that part. But otherwise, the uh, the remaining form is when, we, when, we, when you get the get the form Vari, then the Pratya Aam comes after that, and then after that you use the Dhatu Kru, Bhu, or Us, um, and form the Anuprayaga lit form. So the Kru, Bhu, or Us, it has its own lit pratya coming with it, becomes asa or babhuva or chakara. So varayam is the is the angam for that, becomes varayam asa. After that following get this own pratya. So this am pratya if you see in between here, then the thing is to look for a nijanta prayoga, nij prayoga in there. And after that you should have the dhatu as, bhu, I mean as, bhu or kru, with its own lit pratya coming after that. So that is what it should be. Uh, so Varayamasa and the ending O oh, you can recognize. If normally the Dhatu Us we will not even have this lit forms. Because Dhatu Us becomes Dhatu Bhu or Dhatu Ke. But only when in this Anuprayaga lit form only you see Dhatu Us taking the lit endings. Only in Anuprayaga lit and nowhere else it takes lit endings like that. So Varayamasa. Now Maricham is, is the Nam or Akshasam. So this Nam I think is Avyaya over here. But normally if you say Naman Pradipadikam, it becomes Nama, Namani, Namani. But this is not like that because this is Nama is by name, Namna Maharicham. So this Nama also is in Avyayampadam. So Maharicham by name. So he chose, he chose Maharicha as his accomplice. He chose a demon by name Maharicha as his accomplice. So of course Rakshasam and Maharicham and Sahayam is all Dithya, Dithya Ekavachanam. And uh, it's the uh, karma of varayamasa. Varayamasa. Okay, Balraman, ready? Let's see. Let's see. Last one. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, it says um, stupefied uh, through anger. Krodham chitaha. Chitaha. To hear, to hear is shutva. Shutva. To hear of the destruction of his kinsmen. Vadam. Uh, vadam is destruction. Nyati is the kinsman. Correct. Nyati Vadam. Correct. Ravana. 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 
um, sought the help. Is it Varayamas? Varayamasa. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, no. Actually, sought a thing Varayamasa. Okay. Help, help is Sahayam. Sahayam. Um, mm -hmm. Of a fellow Agra, which is? Rakshasam. Rakshasam. And Maricha is? Maricham. Maricham. By name. Mm -hmm. Nama. Maricham Nama. Okay. So next time we'll continue from here. I think time is uh, time is up. So let's stop here today. Next time we'll continue from the Uttar Bhaga of the 50th Shloka. Um, any questions? I'll of course stay back. So, Ramo Raja Manistada Vijayate Ramam Ramesham Haje Rame Nabhiyata Nishachara Chamu Rama Yatasmai Namaha Rama Nasti Parayanam Parataram Rama Shada Sosmiyaham Rame Chittalaya Shada Bhautame Bho Rama Mamudhara Rama Rame Thi Rame Thi Rame Rame Mano Rame Sahasana Matatulyam Rama Nama Varanane Shri Rama Nama Varanana Unnamati